thank you for your presence in this place. The Bible lets us know where there's two or three of us gathered together. He is there among us by His Spirit. And where His Spirit is, there is freedom. There is liberty. There is freedom to your mind. There is freedom to your body from every sickness and disease. And there is freedom to your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, church? And right now we're going to be praying for healing. And we're going to be asking God that He will touch our bodies. And we're going to be receiving the benefits of the cross that Jesus died and bled for. Because Bible says that He was... He was wounded for our transgressions and he, he received the stripes so that we could be healed that in his stripes that we will have healing Bible lets us know that he received 39 stripes and scientists say that all the sicknesses that could be summarized and categorized and they can fall into these 39 categories and what Jesus did is he took a stripe for each and every one sickness that we carry so that you and I can walk in perfect health in Jesus name amen church in Jesus name but today what I want us to direct our, our prayer is to come against every demonic influence that brings sickness every generational curse that brings sickness into our body that goes from generation to generation whether it's cancer whether it's headaches whether it's arthritis whatever that might be whatever that might look like but today by the power of the holy spirit we're gonna put an end and break every cycle of sickness in your life in jesus mighty name are you with me church there was this man i'm not gonna mention his name he's even testified here in our church he was diagnosed with HIV and when he came to to our one of our services to receive prayer to one of our prayer lines he was he was diagnosed with HIV two or three doctors confirmed that that he had HIV in his blood and when he came to our uh, to our ministry and he began to receive prayer for deliverance or he began to receive prayer he began to receive deliverance demons began to speak through uh, through him he it was a violent uh, type of deliverance and he received his deliverance he went back home and when he went back to the doctor doctors confirmed that he was HIV negative come on let's give God some praise in this house he went to a couple more doctors they confirmed they that that virus was no longer active in his body and he went on living his life the problem though was that he didn't commit his life to God he began to live his life the way he used to live he got it and it started right away you know he started attending church but then he got back with his old friends and then his old friends you know offered him some beer he first refused then he said yes then some beer then some then some uh, harder alcohol that went into partying partying led into sleeping around and again this guy that virus came back into his life and when I when he reached out to me over Facebook like six or nine months later you know he's telling how he's feeling bad even worse than he was in all the shakes these fevers all the symptoms there he went back to the doctor doctors drew his blood said again that he has uh, he has HIV and then I told him God uh, he, you have to come back here again and I said look you have to commit your life to Jesus you have to live and go after Jesus he came back here received another deliverance that deliverance was even more aggressive violent and then afterwards he back back home he actually was here during internship but went back home and doctors confirmed three doc three different doctors confirmed he has no HIV and uh, yeah. and so some years later now it's probably been two years he's still HIV negative involved in the church serving the church serving the community and loving God the reason why I'm sharing this is that the science says the HIV is incurable everybody is racing to find a cure for HIV because if you do you're an ex-billionaire if you can find that um, and uh, but my point of this story is that behind that sickness there was demonic force and when that demon was dr driven out when that curse was broken by the power of the blood of Jesus the person was set free and today I don't know I'm not saying that every sickness you have every sniffle or headache behind it as a demon but I know it's not from God and I know God doesn't have a sickness to give he has no pain to give you and whether it's directly in, influenced by demonic spirits or if they are just rejoicing in the fact that you have pain in your body today we're gonna come against that darkness we're gonna come against that spirit and we're gonna lose you 
for it in the name of Jesus. And you will walk in your freedom, you will walk in health, and you will walk in healing in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. After the time in the Bible where Jesus came and he rebuked the sickness, and a person was made straight, that for, in, in particular case when a, when a woman was bent, and the Bible says that Jesus rebuked that sickness, and she was made straight. In many cases in the Bible, Jesus addressed the sickness as, a, as an entity behind it. And when he rebuked that spirit of infirmity, when there was a uh, mother-in-law of Apostle uh, Peter, and he rebuked the sickness, uh, rebuked that fever, and it was gone. And so today, whatever it is, whatever behind it, today, by the power of the blood of Jesus, we're going to break that influence. We're going to break that curse. We're going to break that cycle. And you will walk out free in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, church. Are you ready to pray? Are you ready to pray church? Say Lord Jesus, say Lord Jesus, my body is your temple and every spirit that influences pain or sickness right now, I break that influence, I break that shame, I break that connection in Jesus name every spirit of sickness every spirit of infirmity I come against you with the name of Jesus with the blood of Jesus and I command you loose your grip loose your grip loose your grip out of my body out of my body to every pain every sickness I command you loose your grip come out of my body in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name, I command every sickness and every disease, every spirit behind that sickness and disease to loose your grip right now in this place. Loose God's people. Loose God's people in the mighty name of Jesus. Every disease and every pain and every sickness, right now I command you, come out. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Every arthritis and the joints right now, I command you, loose your grip every cancer cell in Jesus mighty name I repeat your grip and I command you loose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name be free in your body in the mighty name of Jesus every pain and every sickness and every disease right now you must bow to the authority of Jesus Christ and loose your grip and come out of the saints of God in Jesus name out of the children of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Yes, in Jesus' mighty name, we come against every spirit of infirmity in that body. You are illegal. You are illegal in that body. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, church. We're, we're waging war right now. We're waging war. In Jesus' mighty name, we come against your spirit of infirmity. Come out of that body. In Jesus' mighty name. You're illegal in that body. You don't belong to every cancer cell. Out of that body. In Jesus' mighty name. We release our faith over that body. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak to those shoulders to be restored in that body. That knee in that body. That this morning I had a spoke to a gentleman that we prayed for here a couple of weeks ago there was pain and popping in his knee and till this day there is no more pain and there was another gentleman that had cancerous uh, like skin on his cells on his skin until this day as we prayed for them it disappeared so today could be your day whatever it may be if it might be migraines it might be pain in your ear ringing maybe maybe a liver something wrong with your liver heart problems right now is a time where you can receive your healing in Jesus name I want you to place your hand on your body whatever it may be if it's maybe your shoulder put on your shoulder right now we're gonna pray and we're gonna command that sickness to leave in Jesus name Jesus is concerned for your body and as this temple so any sickness right now I want you to command it to go in Jesus name every back pain every headache every toothache every eye problem every ear problem every liver problem every heart problem every back pain every knee every arthritis in Jesus mighty name we command you to go I want you to agree with me in church right now speak to that sickness begin to command it to leave your body in Jesus mighty name I want you to say after me and say my body is not a temple for sickness my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit they use sickness 
you disease I command you in the name of Jesus in the blood of the Lamb and the fire of the Holy Ghost out of my body in Jesus name come on begin to rebuke it begin to command that sickness every knee pain right now I command you to go every eye problem I command you to leave right now every neck pain every back spasm every problem with the joints every problem in the muscles every problem in the blood cells every problem in the ears we command you to go right now in Jesus mighty name every cancer is skin disease we command you to go we command every cancer to dissolve right now in Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus we command every sickness and disease to leave God's people in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name somebody that has hip issue hip pains right now God is touching you it's like almost like your hips like um, not aligned or something right now God is touching your hips in Jesus name and it's gonna pop back in place and that pain that's associated with in your lower back will go in Jesus mighty name father we release your word we release your power to touch you in Jesus mighty name if you're watching online distance is not a barrier and God wants to touch you right now in Jesus mighty name whatever is done here is being done right there in your living room in your bedroom whatever you're at in your car as you're watching Holy Spirit there's no distance for him he can touch you wherever you are to so connect to what God is doing touch the screen and receive receive it by faith in Jesus mighty name and somebody here that, that that has like a cataract or something on their eye and it's causing issue with uh, like blurriness and, and discomfort in the eye God right now is touching you and removing that in Jesus mighty name receive it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ God is touching your eyes in Jesus mighty name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ digestive problems right now God is touching that right now if you have digestive problem put your hand on your stomach and and begin to receive it in Jesus mighty name God is touching your stomach God is touching your body in Jesus mighty name last Sunday I was, I, was I, I said I saw this some somebody that had an issue in the lower part of the stomach in the right side gentleman came to you and said that that discomfort has left and God touched them in Jesus mighty name so just when you hear these words you, when you hear this word of, a word of knowledge come out you receive it and take it by faith and make sure you come and testify let one of our leaders know let one of our pastors know that you received healing that God touched you in Jesus mighty name as a matter of fact right now as we were praying is there anybody that you felt that God touched your body that that pain that that uh, that discomfort that tightness or whatever it is has has gone and you you feel free in your body right now in Jesus name lift your hand and let us know God, God run it run it quick in the mighty name of Jesus what was the issue that you had sir or well, I had cancer you had cancer so had how cancer. you had cancer huh oh he'll test it okay there's there's one more person back there yeah, I just uh, had some uh, pain in my leg like mm -hmm. you know pain and it's like I felt a warm feeling that's coming into my leg and I felt that God is like moving moving and I was like amen amen feel. amen thank you Jesus let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ all right thank you Lord thank you Jesus we honor you we thank you I know that God is doing much more that we hear just make sure you testify and let us know of God's goodness in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen church God is good and all the time amen amen